All right, guys, welcome back. Now, in the previous video, I have mentioned this word tags a lot, but what exactly are these tags? Now, a tag is nothing but a keyword that is enclosed between a lesser than sign and a greater than sign. These tags are like the building blocks of HTML. Now, each tag is usually followed by some sort of content and then the same exact tag but with a front, front slash at the beginning. Now, the tag without the front slash is called an opening tag, whereas the tag with the front slash is called a closing tag. And together, the opening tag, the content, and the closing tag is called an HTML element. Now, one last thing to understand before we start coding our website is the structure of an HTML file. Now, at the very beginning of our HTML file, we need to specify just once the document type. So we have our lesser than sign and greater than sign. Then we have an exclamation sign at the beginning. And then we have a keyword doc type HTML. Now this tag is used by the browser to understand that the document type is going to be HTML. And the version of HTML is HTML5, which is the current version. Now. The basic HTML page structure also calls for three tags. And the first one is the HTML tag. Now, the HTML tag encloses the complete HTML document. So anything HTML related has to go between these two tags. The second one is the head tag. Now, if you want to specify a title for your web page or include some data for search engine optimization or any browser related data, is going to go between the head tags. And finally, we have a body tag and any visible content in our web page must be enclosed within the body tag. So if you're expecting a visitor at home and your living room SMS, then you quickly hide any unwanted stuff in a room. So when a visitor comes, they're only going to be viewing your living room and anything else is going to be hidden from them. Now, similarly, when a visitor arrives at your web page, anything that is visible to them will be within the body tag and what the content you don't want to show it to the visitor is going to be between these head tags. And finally, when you have to save an HTML file, you save it with a .html extension. And since the landing page for a website is usually indexed, Let's start by creating our very first web page, which is going to be index.html. So in your, in your text editor, which is Sublime Text for me, I'm going to be creating a new file and then saving it as index.html. Now, as I said, we have to first specify the doc type, which is going to be HTML, and then we specify the HTML tag. give a little space and then let us close the HTML tag. Now it's a good practice to open your tag and close it at the same time so that you're not left with um, unclosed tags. So I always do this. I recommend you to do the same as well. So we have an HTML opening tag and an HTML closing tag. Then as we learned from the presentation, we have, an, we have a head tag where the browser related information goes. And then we have a body tag where we specify content that is to be visible to the user. Now for our very first web page, let us go ahead and type hello world in our body tag. And when you go ahead and save it, go back to HTML and CSS folder and when we click on index.html, we see hello world written in our web page. And that's it. You have your very first web page. Now, in the next video, we are going to start learning a whole bunch of tags and learn how to build more complex websites. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.